Hello everyone, it's Topical White Boy here with a new video, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, this is Jurassic World, but it is not going to be a live commentary. I am actually going to be talking over the gameplay um, that I recorded a couple days ago, and the reason behind that is I um I, the audio got all screwed up with this video, and I didn't want to erase it because I what I do do is I do level up the Anglodocus level 30 in this video, and I did I kind of wanted you guys to see that. I didn't want to just you know, go in the next video and have a level 30 without an explanation. So, as you can see in this video, I do buy a couple more of them, of Anglodocuses, and I do try to level them up to level 30, which I do successfully. And I also do a couple live arena attacks and uh, and stuff like that. So it turns out to be a pretty fun game, um, and I really didn't really want to, I don't know, I didn't really want to skip over it. So, um, yeah, and I hope you guys are having a great day, as always. And, yeah, I am level 46, so I'm going to be... Leveling up pretty soon. As you can see, like, see that purple background? I think it's kind of cool uh, how they have that for the hybrids now. It's like the purple uh, laboratory. So, also, if you guys want to see any other um, dinosaurs leveled up, maxed, battled, whatever, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And if you didn't miss my last video, I did upload a Minecraft video. And if you do enjoy Minecraft, go ahead and go to the link in the description. You can check out the last video. Thought it was pretty fun. We're playing uh, some Death Run. But anyways, this is not about that. So I do get a lot of questions saying, how do you get so many resources? I get a lot of questions, people asking me that. And um, the there really isn't a technique to get a certain amount of resources. I mean, I just basically, when the game first came out, I bought a lot of packs. I got a lot of... Uh, stuff like that and I just ended up getting a lot of um, I don't know I just ended up getting a lot of resources and once you have all those resources and you have all the dinosaurs to replenish the gold and replenish everything it kinda just you kinda just stay at there for bucks I have about 60,000 bucks um, I bought a lot of bucks and I don't really know that's just kind of uh, I've been sponsored by a couple of uh, other people that have been nice enough to give me some some bucks so that's pretty cool um, for DNA wise, basically, I just sold a lot of dinosaurs. I mean, that's the only way you can really get a lot of DNA. Is just selling a lot of dinosaurs um, that I don't need. Like I sold a couple of T Rexes, and and they just kind of added up for me. And you know, in some legendary packs, you get a lot of it. And it just kind of added up. And I haven't really. I mean, I've been using a good amount of uh, a good amount of DNA, but you know, I think I start off somewhere around six hundred thousand. So as you can see, I am going down. Um, but uh, but yeah, so as you can see here, I'm trying to level up Anglodocus level 30, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. You know, I think that um, it's the first hybrid I've ever had as a herbivore, and um, him max isn't quite as good as I thought at first. But back in the day, I remember I was always like, oh, I want to get the Anglodocus. It looks so badass, and then now I have it, and it's like it's not as good as I kind of thought it was. If that makes any sense. So uh, here we're leveling him up. Cost fifteen thousand food to feed once, which is a lot. That's definitely uh, definitely a lot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and level him up, and I just love that purple background. I think it just looks really really cool. I don't know what it is, um, but yeah. Um, if you guys want to, I was wondering, what do you guys like more? Do you like this kind of this me talking over the gameplay, or do you like me having the live kind of you know gameplay? Uh, also, let me know with that as well. But here we are with the level thirty Ankylodocus. Um, and I'm looking around the park here saying, you know, what kind of dinosaurs can I level up? Uh, I do have uh, four of these dinosaurs, and um, I'm not sure to pronounce the name. I think it's the U. It's like Neosaurus or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these are all my herbivores over here that I can level up. And I go to Live Arena, and I think I do a battle with the Ankylodocus. So I have the Ankylodocus, Indominus, and the Coolosaurus, my three best dinosaurs as of right now. So um, I came with my... Pterodon is not level 40, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so here I bring up the Ankylodocus. The Ankylodocus is an okay, I mean, as you can see, if you look at the stats between this and the Stegoceratops, the Stegoceratops has better stats. Obviously, he's level 40, but, um, you know, I, I don't know what the level 40 uh, Ankylodocus is, but I don't imagine he has 3,100 health. So uh, we're going to have to just see, I guess. The um for the update wise, I think the update is pretty pretty good. I really really uh, enjoy the update. I like how it has different scenery in the background, and I just think it's just think it's kind of cool. But um, so you're gonna see this Ankylodocus do its attack sometimes. So I go ahead and go with a four, five, six attack. I don't know why it's six. Okay, two defense, four. Does that kill it? Yes, it does. 
and it does. <laughs> so yeah, Ankylodocus versus Ankylodocus. He has a level 36 Ankylodocus, so we just take mine out, but um, my Indominus Rex is pretty good, as you can see. He's very good. If you haven't seen my um, my uh, Indominus Rex maxing video and my Indominus, Indominus Rex attack video, go ahead and check those out on my channel uh, because they're probably <laughs> they're pretty sick videos, and I really just love Indominus Rex. I think he's amazing, so... I hope they make more uh, hybrids and stuff and more kind of really, really good carnivores. Because, I mean, I love to see them, so... There goes, the Indominus Rex takes out the Inclodocus pretty easily. And, um... He's going to go ahead and start taking out the... Ceroceratops now, so... I'm, I can almost one-hit him. I'm, like, 20 HP off. So he goes for three, which is... Doesn't really do anything, so uh, I go ahead and go for a seven here, which is obviously overkill, but I mean, only ends up to four. <sighs> Excuse me for yawning. Well, it's about 10 a.m., and it's kind of woke up, so there we are. There's the victory with the Dominus Rex, and um, let's go ahead and see if we can get for a battle prize here. <laughs> I really hate this stupid wheel. I end up getting food like every time, it's just really annoying, but. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much I think gonna wrap up this guy's this the video for this. Uh, I don't even know what the hell that is, but um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, don't ever buy this offer. It's such a waste of money. Thirty bucks for this? It's like come on, six hundred DNA? Like I can sell a bad dinosaur and get that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did, and as always, people, I'll see you next time. Peace out.